Hello and welcome back to Resources Week from Hope Lutheran Church. All week long, I'm giving you resources pointing you in the direction of good, trustworthy things that you can use to better understand the Word of God, to grow in your walk with the Lord, those kinds of things. So the most important thing to have, of course, is a Bible. And it doesn't have to be anything special if it has the text of the Bible translated in a translation you can understand. And I've done videos on Bible translations. You can go back and find those if you'd like or let me know and I'll, I'll send them to you. Uh, but but that's, that's the most important thing, right? You got to have a Bible that you can read and you can use. But the Bible can be difficult to understand, right? It's it's a book that was written in Greek and Hebrew and thousands of years ago. And so there are challenges to understanding it. So there are helps. And it just so happens all of these helps that I'm recommending today are available in our church library as well. So we're going to start. Well, actually, first we're going to start with this. So if you just want one single resource that can be really, really helpful, the Lutheran Study Bible is a great way to go because it has study notes that can help explain the text. So you have the text of Scripture, and then you have study notes that help explain it, help you to understand what it is really all about, what it's saying. There's so many different resources in here, um, and it's really good. See, the thing about study Bibles, is they all come with a theological perspective. You pick up a life application study Bible, it's going to have a theological perspective that it is coming from. You pick up a uh, the ESV study Bible, it's going to be a Calvinistic perspective. It's going to come with that theological framework. Well, this one is obviously going to come from a confessional Lutheran perspective and being a confessional Lutheran, I think that's the way to go. So this is a good, trustworthy Bible with, with good, helpful notes. The next thing to accompany your Bible might be to get something like this, a Bible handbook. Um, this one is is, uh, is is really nice because it's got lots of pictures. Who doesn't like pictures? Uh, the pictures are great. Um, they help you to visualize what you might be reading about. But it also has some really helpful things. This basically goes through each book of the Bible and takes you through some of the main points. What should you be looking for, right? So when you're reading your Bible, sometimes you go, well, what am I supposed to get out of this? This helps you to say, okay, what are some things I should be looking for, thinking about, considering? Um, so this this has some of that. Um, one of the things I really like is in a lot of these, um, when it gets to the epistles, it will ask, how can I best grow in grace as I read Galatians or Ephesians or Philippians or Colossians. And it gives you some suggestions for that. Now, if you want something a little bit more substantial than uh, that last one, the Lutheran Bible Companion is the way to go. Th there, th this is a <laughs> two-volume set, right? You have one for the Old Testament, one for the intertestamental period between the Old Testament and the New Testament, and, and that one also then continues into the New Testament. Um, this has a lot of extensive um, background information, maps, charts, that can really be helpful for you as you're trying to read through and you're not really sure what you're supposed to be getting out of it or you're not understanding some aspects of it. Uh, this has a lot of extra explanations, visualizations. Uh, very helpful. Very, very helpful. Okay, now, uh, last time 
I suggested, yesterday I suggested, um, that one of the great resources in getting started in um, understanding the Lutheranism is the small catechism. And it certainly is. Now, if you want to go next level, the next thing would be to get the Book of Concord. This is what pastors and teachers and DCEs, uh, this is when when we are when a pastor is ordained, we say yes, we believe that the Lutheran confessions are true because they are a faithful explanation of the Word of God. So this is very uh, well. This is this is what Lutherans believe, and and it is uh, our statements of faith. Um, so mine is all marked up. Um, I have a little one now too that I, uh, carry with me because that's way handier to have. Um, but this is kind of catechism 2.0, if you want to move beyond that. And finally today, I wanted to show you this. Um, this is basically... A simple systematics. So systematics systematically go through and, and take um, the Bible and explain different doctrines of it. Uh, there are some really extensive systematics. For instance, uh, back here on my shelf. You know, I have, have um, you know, systematics uh, from Martin Chemnitz. Love, love, love this. It's great, but it's also going to be, I don't know, 90 bucks or something like that. Or you can get all of these. These are all systematics um, in one series, and I only have a portion of them, and there's going to be more to come, and there's more I haven't yet gotten. Uh, those are by uh, um, Gerhardt, and uh, they are... They're not cheap, <laughs> but they're really good. Uh, but, you know, if you're not a pastor, you probably don't need that. Um, but this is great. This takes, you go, okay, well, I want to learn about angels. Okay, you turn to the section on angels. It'll tell you where in the Bible it talks about them, what uh, the teaching about angels is from the Bible, and uh, uh, help you to understand those things. So you want to learn about prayer. Well, you turn to the section on prayer and it's going to have extensive explanation of what prayer is, how we can pray, why we should pray, why we can know God will hear our prayers, uh, and show from scripture, have all of those scripture references to show you where to find that in the Bible as well. So this is not very expensive. We actually have it in our library as well. Um, so if you're wondering about a specific teaching, this is a great place to go. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, that is basically if you wanted to start a home library, a theological library, th these are some great resources to do that. But heh, if you're a member of Hope, you don't have to necessarily buy them because they're available in our library. You can check them out. You can come in and read them. Uh, they're available to you. Pretty much any time. Uh, tomorrow we'll keep going with some other resources and including uh, coming up this week, we're going to be sharing a lot of free resources as well. So look forward to that. Uh, God's blessings. Have a great day. I look forward to spending more time with you again tomorrow.